Hey Capricorn, it's Lisa with Heart of Inspiration. And here at this channel, we help you lead a spirit-led, whole and healed, peaceful and prosperous life. Capricorn, this is for your June 2019 general reading, Sun, Moon, and Arising. I know I'm a little late. Don't kill me. Um, if this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. Um, please consider subscribing, liking, hitting that bell. Don't forget to hit that bell and comment below. And then you can get entered into my June subscriber giveaway. We'll talk about it a little bit later. And returning subscribers, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much. Cappies, this is for Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let's get right into it, okay? Listen, um, these two cards came out of the deck, and I do want to acknowledge them because I believe they're part of the overall energies. We have the King of Crystals, which def is like the King of Pentacles. This is the Star Child Tarot deck. Um, so this is you, right? And Transformation, which is the Death card. Cappies, this is going to be a month, and I'm sure it already has been, but it's going to continue to be a month of transformation throughout the remainder of this month. Um, a lot of changes are happening and I know, Cap, it's like changes, you know, you, get, you guys like things very uh, stable. Um, you're not necessarily quick to change. However, if it's almost as if I, I feel like you're being drug kicking and screaming. Like, for some of you, some of you are like, oh my gosh, everything is coming into focus. Everything is like starting to come up roses, so to speak. And um, you're really embracing all of this energy, this very fast moving energy, actually, this month of change and challenge. And, you know, just like this requirement that um, the universe spirit is putting upon you to say, hey, look, you know what we got to you got to do. There are some things that you've been planning for some time. And there's been some big ideas that have just been like in you right and rolling around in you and you've been wanting to like step out of your shell and um really get to the top of that mountain goat right you want to get to the top of that mountain but i but you've been a little skittish and a little scared of it but this month has just been in this empowerment and for some of you you're willingly going on that trip and some of you you're just like seriously i was not ready for this nor do i really want this so I'm not sure, you know, I'm, I'm, again, kicking and screaming like a child with a temper tantrum. Um, so I really feel like that's really the overall energies that we're seeing for you guys for this month. So I want you to keep that in mind, Capricorn. Keep that in mind as we go through your reading for the month. Now, the energy that has been coming towards you thus far all this month is the Three of Crystals, which is the Three of Pentacles. So this month has all been about partnership. Unexpected partners coming to your side. People that you had no idea um, that they were um, going to, I'm going to acknowledge the Queen of Swords as well. This, So listen, Cap, because I can already sense this, some of you watching this. I'm speaking truth and you know I'm speaking truth. Um, and it's for some of you all, this message is going to hit you like, is going to hit you dead in your gut and you're going to be like why does she just gut punch me um for others of you you're going it's going to be like this exhilaration of liberation of feeling like finally somebody gets me and i just didn't know how to verbalize exactly how it's feeling but ride with the truth okay ride with the truth now there have been some people that have been coming to you unexpectedly <coughs> that I've been partnered partnered up with you and you're just like, wow, I didn't think this was going to happen. Um, and, and, and maybe they, before they really hadn't shown themselves to be true. Like, you know, y'all were cool and all, but they weren't really like partners, right? They weren't like super uber in your corner and they're showing that they are. And they're actually with the seven of pentacles helping you manifest some things. And it's coming along a little slower than you. It's coming along at your right pace. <laughs> but there's little manifestations all along the way. There have been and there will continue to be all throughout the rest of the month that um, signal to you that you're working with the right people. Could be a Libra in the mix. It could be or um, another air sign. But with the justice card, it's like finally these scales are getting balanced. Again, spirit has been trying to balance some of you guys' scales all along. 
and some of you have just fought it. Others of you are like, I'm finally coming into this time, right? And it's me. It's my time. I'm finally tired of being the one to put all the effort in into this relationship, situationship, into this partnership, be it business or otherwise. I, I'm tired of putting the effort in and not getting anything back. So finally, these scales, you're, you're, you're at the point with that Queen of Swords energy as well. And with this transformation energy, you're at this point that you are so ready to get out of these situations, get out of life what you've been putting into it. That's the other thing that, that justice really says. It's you get your justice, right? When the just scales of justice are balanced, whatever the crime was, right, you get the time, usually. Um, and there's, a, there's a, an inherent fairness in it. So that is what's happening is that the scales are being, you know, karma's being cleared, everything's being balanced, and finally to, to put you in a position where you can accept the partnership. Um, for some of you also with the Three of Pentacles, uh, it is being commissioned to do certain things. So this could be a new job. This could be a new business. This could be your business growing or be, you're beginning to see the growth of this business. So all of the all of this energy, this very good, healthy manifestation and abundant pentacle energy, crystal energy is coming towards you and it will be with you throughout the month. Um, with the nine of crystals, this is the energy that you're bringing to the table. Um, of course, that always symbolizes independence, but the nine of crystals or the nine of pentacles is like, one of my two favorite cards. You guys always hear me say that. I know you're probably tired of it. Nine of Cups and Nine of Pentacles. You're, this is, to me, you coming into your own. Like, finally, you're bringing this energy of, I'm coming into my own. With the Four of Pentacles, you, you are also not uh, as willing to just share with everybody. So, you're not as open. You're not as willing to just, like, waste time with certain people. You're not as willing to give certain people your energy um, because they've not yet proven to you or they it nothing has really come of it, right? And because nothing has come of it or all it's done is take away your very precious energy and, and lower your frequency to the point that you cannot vibrate at the frequency and the level to which what you're trying to, what you are manifesting and what your real goal is. And so they're taking your eyes off the prize. And so there is a bit of a withdrawal here happening, right? Oh, <laughs> and there's another nine of pentacles. So listen, you are focusing on yourself and there's nothing wrong with that. You're being a little bit selfish and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that at all. Um, Something that could be an, an energy that could be an obstacle for you, the eight of wands. This is really success forward movement um eight being the number um and the the symbol of infinity as well this is <clears throat> in this reading in this case i'm hearing that some of you could be afraid of success or doubting whether or not success is truly going to come to you that doubt that fear that Listening to the narrative that has been put upon you from a child or a teenager or a young adult dealing with all of these different things that you've been dealing with over time. That you hear these voices in your head over and over again. You're never going to amount to anything. You can't succeed at this. This is your lot in life. This is all you can ever expect to be. How dare you dream? Oh my gosh, there's no way you could be a business person. There's no way you could do this. There's no way you could do that. And it's over and over and over again. And this is going to cause you to go to be Knight of Pentacles, very cautious and slow moving, being concerned about this and, and, and really trying to hear and really listening to the voices that are not yours. 
and being a part of the story, being the character of the story that someone else wrote for you. And I'm hearing spirits say, you don't have to do that. You have this opportunity and you know and you can see right before your very eyes that your entire story is being rewritten so why on earth are you still trying to fit your character into a role that no longer suits you you've outgrown it what's going to help you overcome the eight of swords and i'm going to read this as a reversal you, what's going to help you overcome this narrative is no longer, is realizing you are not trapped. Stored energy is word, thought, ideations, ideas. That's that energy, that's sword energy. The realization that you are not trapped by what others say or think or have an idea about you and that you can come out of your own trap that you have set for yourself by buying into the false, remember that Queen of Swords energy, by buying into the false statements that have been made about you. The false statements that have been made about you. You no longer have to be trapped by those anymore. With the Seven of Wands energy, you're going to defend your position. You're going to defend this new character. You're going to defend this new role, this new leading role in your life where you're the star. And people want to work with you. People want to come alongside of you. They want to promote you. They want to assist you. They want to invest in you. They want to do all these things because they see this very confident and this very charismatic <coughs> and this very abundant energy of the Nine of Pentacles. They see you probably in a different light than some of you even see yourself. They see you in the light of success. Are you going to decide to become that leading lady, that leading man in your film of success, in your success story? Are you going to be that main character or are you going to sit by and allow this very uh, fertile energy to pass you by once again? Outcome and or advice, the higher font. Let me move these a little bit down so we can put the higher font center stage. I apologize. The higher font, maintain the faith, keep the faith. The higher font can also represent, of course, um, marriage, union. Sacred union. Ooh, that's good. Sacred union. There is a sacred union that spirit, the beloved God, source, is wanting to create with you. And that sacred union <coughs> is the union of your spirit of your spiritual knowledge and power and wisdom and love and light. With sources supreme, infinite, creative, love, wisdom, power, and light. And a sacred union between your divine feminine and divine masculine energy to bring about creation. A sacred union, finally, of it's almost as if I hear like marrying yourself. Falling in love with yourself all over again. Falling in love with yourself to such a degree that no one 
No one, no one can destroy who you are any longer. Because the 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 fruit of this union then becomes this beautiful manifestation or creation of this very powerful life-changing entity i don't know how many of you have ever been married but there is a section a, a, a line in the a statement in the vows that what God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Let spirit join you to supreme source. Join your divine masculine and feminine together and create a bond that no man can put asunder. If you notice in this tarot, she's also holding a white orb, a light in her hand. It's like I can see everything right here. It's like a star seed, right? I can see a seed. I can see everything here. All power is in your hands. Ooh. All power. All knowledge, all wisdom. Oh my gosh. And here's the higher font again. I don't even need to do anything else. Listen. All power is in your hands. <coughs> all power is in your hands. What else is there? Keep the faith. Stay the course. Keep moving. Don't stop. Don't stop moving. Don't lose the faith. Don't weary not in well-doing. I could come up with a whole bunch of them. But keep your eyes on the prize is where you need to be. Now, we're going to also then now... I'm going to pull a card from the Oracle, Isis Oracle. Give you a little bit more guidance for the remainder of the month. You guys, um, as you are finished, as you're watching this video, please, um, for I have a subscriber giveaway for three subscribers this month, the month of June. And I'll pull uh, the winners at the beginning of July. Um, three of you will be chosen and you will have your choice of either an energy healing session where we can go through read your aura, clear any additional extra stuff out, um, cut cords, all kinds of energy work, or just a normal Reiki treatment session. Or you can get, get an hour, um, an intuitive time with me. So you get your choice of that. Three lucky winners will get that this month. Oh, wow. Past life, present power. Many, the many spiritual faces of you. Past life, present power and let me just read a snippet of what the meaning of that card is bear with me one moment past life present power when the soul is growing in service to humanity in service to the great feminine and her call that all beings be healed and free it gathers internal resources to assist on the path Three of Pentacles, all these Pentacles, right? These resources include power and gifts, powers and gifts from other lifetimes. You are currently integrating past life abilities and you are guided by the Oracle of Past Life, Present Power to be open to shifting internally and in your experience of your own levels of power and spiritual ability to become who you are meant to become, to be the character in this lifetime you are meant to be. Talents, abilities, powers wish to be restored to you now from past incarnations. This will help your path. You will often be able to recognize this because you will feel some instant fascination or deep interest for a culture, philosophy, heritage, or even place on earth or beyond, which is deeply compelling. This is your intuitive recognition that a part of your soul connected with this passionate interest is being drawn into integration. At such times, there can be emotions, feelings, even phobias or fears that temporarily arise. You may even find your taste for food and clothing and your sleep or other habits change quickly and noticeably for a time. These can all be signs that a past life energy is being integrated. Okay. 
Once it is digested into your current incarnation, you will feel more like yourself again, but in an expanded and more whole way. You see, this transformation that's happening in you is you're gathering up all of these past energies, these past powers, these this past wisdom, all of that infinite. Remember I said, your spirit has all of this within it. The information, wisdom, love, and light from lifetimes. And then when Supreme Source then comes into this grand union with you, this sacred union with you, it becomes illuminated and it's like it's a flower that just blossoms. And all of a sudden there are things that you're like, oh yeah, I know how to do that. Or yes, I, I, I could do this. Or you know what I mean? Like all of these different things. So <clears throat> do not freak out about it. This change and this propulsion to move forward is coming at this moment in time for a purpose. It's coming to set you up for your life purpose and it's coming to help you right you're being asked to move a little faster than normal so that you can be helped along your journey and some of you are being drugged but you know come on stand up on your feet and walk with it okay don't get drugged that's no fun um but you know do really tap into the energy inner the energy that is available to you now like never before and uh, throughout the rest of this month of June and, and watch and see. And I'll be very interested in hearing from you as to all of the different manifestations that then happen. Okay, guys, um, I'm going to let you go. There's going to be a couple of videos that you're going to have a choice of, of looking at after this is over with. Um, and also, you're going to notice on the screen as soon as we're done, there is going to be a link to Shonda Rise, which is she's a wonderful, wonderful um, student and teacher of astrology. And Will Brown's Cardamancy, <coughs> who is um, another, who is, is a reader that I'm working with. I work with both of them, but then I'm working with Will Brown now. And we're developing some really cool things for you guys. So please check their channels out. Consider subscribing to them. And, you know, do check out a few more videos here on my channel, okay? Don't forget to subscribe, like, hit that bell so you know when I'm coming on or when I post new videos. And leave me a comment. Let me know how this resonated with you. Peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. I love you guys so much. Namaste. Bye-bye.